Hey guys, <clears throat> sorry guys, Target Recycling FTV. Um, getting ready to do something, I just got a shipment in another shipment, and uh, and it's really cool because I've been waiting for this thing to come in, it's the FreeSky uh, uh, USB to S port adapter, and uh, I, I thought it was really awesome, especially for if you're doing a lot of updates or you need to do updates and you can't get to your radio or you don't have the file on your radio or whatever you wanna do, so I figured I'd do a real quick video on this one <clears throat> just to show you guys what it was like, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I uh, got a little bit of sore throat here. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to go ahead and share this screen. And here we go. All right, so <clears throat> hmm, there. So this is the uh, this is the USB to S port adapter right here. And with this in your computer, you'll be able to do all your updates to your receiver, right? So I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how that works real quickly. But I'm going to use one of my uh, old receivers here. It's um, you know, it's kind of been beat up, uh, but this is going to be the XM Plus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just solder my pins on here. Now, if it was new, it would just go right through. You could fit it on just like this, and it would sit and update, right? But, hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, so I figured I'd just show you guys this real quick. It would be a real quick video on this one. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solder the pins, and I'm going to do it uh, just like this. So we're going to have brown be the ground. All right, and we're going to have blue be our positive for right now. Let me get... Something to hold this in place and check this out. This is actually pretty cool. Um, for me, it's really cool because I've got so many receivers to update and we're going to start doing free updates before we ship for our customers. So this was this is what I was waiting on so I didn't have to keep doing it from a radio. And even though I could have made my own cable, I kind of wanted to go this route because this comes with the updates that I wanted. All right. So we've got our connector in, right? So all our, we've got our ground, our positive and our support. And then what we do basically is we're going to plug this into the computer and I'm going to go ahead and share my computer screen here. So bear with me a second and uh, let's see how this is going to work. So I've got FreeSky's website up right now. All right. And uh, anyways, you would go to the FreeSky web on our, on our website. You'll have a, a link here on this video. There'll be a link on the bottom when I'm done publishing it and it'll take you to the file. We'll have the file on our website. But so once you load the FreeSky file, the tool file, you end up with this program right here. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. It's this little app. Uh, that will be uh, extracted when you do your um, a zip file. So anyways, you take it and you plug it in, right? And it's gonna light up green like this. And uh, let me see, and then, let me get this, sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. I was trying to move something on the other computer screen here. So once it's plugged in and all that, you've got your screen, it's real tiny though, so you're gonna have to try to read this one. I'll expand it, but the words don't seem to get any bigger. Just looks like this, but what I can tell is as soon as I plug this in, I'm gonna get a COM port here. Uh, let me close this down, let me reopen it. All right, so I've got COM5, it's hard to read, but it's in there. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and find, so, hey Robert, so this is the uh, XM Plus, right? So I'm just gonna go and find my file, which is the XM Plus update which I have right here, the XM Plus 170313, which stands for March 13th, 2017. That's the final uh, update from them. And I'm gonna use the RSSI 16 channel version. So I'm gonna click that and it's gonna load it. And right now it says finding device, right? So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in my receiver and right there you can see where it sees it, right? So you can barely read it, but it says it found it. So now I'm gonna click download and watch. There it goes, it's updating my, it's updating my, uh, uh, receiver right now. So by doing this method instead of the radio, I can start doing a bunch of updates at one time. This is going to be really helpful for me instead of having to use the radio each time. You just use the USB to S port adapter and you can do any of the uh, um, uh, receivers that you need from FreeSky. So I'm really excited about that and I think that's going to be pretty awesome. So it's updating right now. It's a 55%. You can see it going and uh, should be done here in just a second. So I think for the most part, guys, uh, you know, if you do find yourself having to update receivers or you have a lot of receivers and you want to make this thing go faster and you want to be able to do them instead of having to tie up your radio, this little device right here, we're going to have it on the site. Um, actually, it's, I think it's already on the site. I think we just updated our inventory to show that. I'm going to check here in just a second just to make sure. Uh, let me see if I put it on there. I'm pretty sure that I did, but I'm going to check real quick. And we'll see here. Okay, so it says it's firmware is updated. So now you just click end and you're done. And that's it. Your receiver is now updated. So, I mean, this little device is going to be pretty awesome. And it's really inexpensive. I just got to try to find it here. Uh, I want to say, oh, shoot. If, if I did put it up here, we're going to see. It's going to be either under here 
or it's going to be the receivers. So let me just check receivers. And we also did get the new access uh, edition of all the radios in now. So you can go check those out too. We've got some sales going on with those. But let me see if I can find this real quick. I'm hoping that it's on here. Uh, and if not, then I'll just have to add it because there's still probably some inventory left. Uh, let me see. Mm, not on page one. All right. Well, it looks like I'll be going back to the computer to add it. But I will give you a link to it. Uh, I was hoping that I thought I put it on here already, but I guess not. But anyways, it'll be on our site here in just a little bit. But you can use that. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, you have the uh, USB to support for wireless SIM. Well, check this out. We just got this in also. Um, we just got 20 of these in yesterday. So let me show you that real quick. Uh, the uh, Where is it? Right here. So they're in now. And we've got those ready to go. So if you need, if you want to go wireless and be able to use your SIM and go wireless with the radio, you can do that now by going to our website and clicking these. And we've got them in stock, okay? So guys, but this is cool. I thought this was a really neat little tool. Um, I'm excited about it. And it's going to make my updates a lot easier. And if you have a lot of uh, receivers, then it'll help you as well. That's it, guys. It was a quick video just to show you what that's like. And uh, we're going to be coming back with some troubleshooting here on tomorrow maze. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.